You it is get your it's your boy time back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be taking a look at how you guys should be preparing for season two of NBA 2K24, my team. Just some little tips and tricks such as how to use your tokens, such as how to empty out your collection if you have anybody that's worth anything, any empty stuff like that. Now, before we dive any further into that, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button. So we are on the road towards 130,000 subscribers so a lot of it's hard because most of the cards you guys are gonna have are gonna be unoctionable but it's something you want to make sure you go and look at because for for me right we know that price drops are going to continue to happen they've happened every week uh throughout my team and who knows they might even drop more at the start of season two who knows if we'll see a steep drop in any of these cards heading into season two because i mean Every week, they basically went down 7%. And I wouldn't be surprised at the start of Season 2 if they decreased, dropped a little bit more. So even for me, guys, like on my No Money Spent, I had to sell Vince Carter in preparation of Season 2, right? Because I know his price was going to drop soon, so I got rid of him. Now, AD, I'll probably hold on to because he's got a shoe and he's really good and I absolutely love him. But any card you're not like the biggest fan of or any card you're like iffy about... I would sell sooner rather than later if they are optional. Even if, like all these sapphires, right? If you have them, I would grade them and get rid of them because there really is no reason to hold on to any of them. Now, these series one cards, if you have any of these that are auctionable, there's no reason to sell them because they do not go down in price. They will hold their value forever. So even like a Cody Martin for me, I can hold on to him. He's not going to go down in value and I don't really have anything to worry about with that. So I would hold on to him. Same thing with like your badges, your shoe boost, all these type of things. Don't worry about it. They're not going to lose any value. But I mean, look, I'm going to be honest. Anything like silver and below for shoe boost, any like gold shoes and below, I'd sell them as well. Why? Because you don't want them just, you know, clogging up your collection and stacking up too much like i do you know occasionally go through and sell those and that's something i would recommend you do now one of the most important things guys is your xp boost and your tokens do not transfer so let's say you're not at level 40 even if you're not in contention to get kyrie irving Every time you play the game, you should have this double XP stuff going. Even if you're like at level 17, you should use them because look guys, even if let's say you get to level 27, this Rui prize vault is, is, is very helpful. Let's say you get to level 29. The seven uh, ascension picks is pretty solid. And let's say you guys can get all the way up to, I know this is a, a long ways up here, but level 39, then you get that 25,000 MT. Just make sure you're using those uh, the, the, those XP boosts because those do not transfer to next season. So make sure you're smart when it comes down to that. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, Ty, what do I do with my tokens? Now, for me, obviously, I got Brandon Roy in, in so I use most of them. For, for you guys, I would put a heavy emphasis and heavy focus on these deluxe badge packs even when i compare this deluxe badge pack to these shoe packs the deluxe badge pack it has my main attention one token for three badges and i'm not gonna lie badges are rare and so any remaining tokens you guys have spend them all on these badges spend them all like that's basically every time i get a token what i spend them on and when you go to my collection on this account i have a ton of badges and even if you don't really care about badges you can quick sell the badges if it comes down to it if you have too many of them but you cannot get enough badges i'm telling you guys right now the more badges you guys have the better off you're going to be in the long run and that's something i i can't emphasize enough guys Guys, don't let your tokens just sit there even for me on my no money spent squad series i think right now i got like 30 ish or so tokens guess what i'm gonna do today i don't i don't care about google that i don't care about any any of those cars i don't care about these diamond shoes i'm gonna use all of them on these badges because badges have a lot of value here's the here's what i would say okay on average even if you want to quick sell things right the badges are going to quick sell for 100 a piece. So let's say for every one of these you open, you're going to get 300 MT. If you have 30 tokens, that's like 10,000 MT just like that if you want to quick sell those badges. And so I'm not I'm not saying that this is the best thing in the world, but definitely use your token on badges. 
tokens on badges because again badges are super 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 important and even for me right it's allowed me to badge up my Brandon Roy pretty good it's allowed me to badge up my Chris Bosh it's allowed me to even you know go to a guy like Anthony Davis and badge him up pretty well because those are guys I love and guys that are going to be on my on my squad for quite some time so that is the one big 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 point I want to hit on really really well is use your tokens but don't waste them guys use them on badges because badges are honestly pretty tough to get right now unless you're really grinding domination like me they're they're pretty tough to get and uh and so that's something i strongly recommend you guys using your tokens on instead of you know using them unless you're going to get brandon roy instead of using them on google or anybody like that i really you know would just spend them on the badges the last thing the last big point i want to make right i'm recording this video on tuesday Make sure if you're close to any big time reward that you grind that out. So let's say like, I, I don't know, I'm just going to throw it out. Let's say you're at like 12,400 points. You might as well play one more unlimited game to get this Hall of Fame badge option back. Let's say in salary cap, cap you're really close to this 10,000 MT. Play one more MT, get that done. Let's say in clutch time online, let's say you're at 39 wins. Play one more game to get this 10,000 MT. Same thing in Triple Threat Online. If you're, let's say, at 99 wins, play one more game, get the 10,000 MT. For every game mode, I'd recommend you guys doing it. Even in co-op, right? I'm at 56 wins, so I'm four wins away. But if you're at 59 wins, grind one more game, get that 5,000 MT. That I cannot recommend strongly enough for you guys. Get all of these next level rewards, right? Even, even for me, guys, let's say I was at, yeah, I don't care about a diamond shoe. If I was at 178 wins, might as well play two more triple threat offline games to get that extra 3,000 MT. That MT might not seem like the biggest deal right now, but down the road, definitely will. And then look at these agendas. If there are any agendas that do expire, because I think a lot of these, uh, they have seven days left, but a lot of these, you know, I, in, in the next seven days, if you want them, go grind them out because they will expire and you'll never have the chance to get them, uh, you know? And so those are just the small things that I do recommend. Even when it comes down to it, let's say you've got, you know, you've got Channing Fry and you're close to getting Chuck Person. Not only do you get Chuck Person, but you also get the 2000 MT that goes along with it. Domination is gonna be here next season. So that's not something I'd really rush to get done. Uh, Cause again, that's gonna be here. But even when it comes down to any of these like skills challenges, right? A lot of these, I do believe, is going to expire. You guys can see it in 72 hours. That's the Abu Dhabi one. These expire in 72 hours. All of these expire at the end of the season. And you get a free pack for doing these. So you guys can see I've done them all on this account. If you have some extra time, grind these out, get these extra free packs. It can definitely help you guys out at the end of the day. Even these perfect build ones, right? I haven't grinded these. That's probably something I need to do in the next 72 hours. Get that free perfect build pack. But not only that, you're going to add 5,000 MT to your collection, right? Get this spotlight challenge done. You add some diamond prize ball, a lot of badges, some MT. All of these challenges that do expire at the end of the season, make sure to go and get those things done. That's going to wrap it up for our video, guys. Drop a like on it. Subscribe. You're doing as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.